Disney has not been having a very good year when it comes to box office. A lot of reports out there claiming that the company has lost $900 million over the past two years at the box office. That comes from Valiant Renegade. Uh, his report's been making the rounds, too, because it reveals a hard truth that Disney is just not what it used to be. So they're about to have another flop opening up in, what, two days? That's Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Are you ready for that one? Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Oh, yay. It'll be really exciting to see what that movie pulls. But the next movie up for them is The Marvels. Now, I don't know anybody excited for this movie. Disney does not have the cash on hand that they had when this one, Captain Marvel, came out last time. So, it'll be interesting to see how much interest there is for this movie, especially now that it's not sandwiched between two Avengers movies. I don't think there's any interest for this movie. The popularity of this character has never been there, and I don't think we're going to... I think reality is going to set in for Captain Marvel... And all these other characters, Photon and Kamala Khan, these characters that, honestly, a lot of people just don't know. Monica Rambeau is, has been around for a long time in the Marvel comic books, but she's never been a A-list character. I would call her more like a C-list character, to be honest. Miss Marvel, like Captain Marvel here has had to have her book rebooted like 12 times just so it can stay on the sales charts. Uh, the, sh the television series, the Disney Plus series for Miss Marvel, nobody watched it. Nobody watched it. Did a couple videos on that. It was barely on the charts, and it fell off the charts after like two weeks. So I'm not sure that she's going to be the box office draw that they think she's going to be. It's going to be funny to watch this movie. Maybe it'll be a success. I don't know. But the post credit scene has leaked for this movie, and we now know where the future of the MCU is going to go, and it's the Young Avengers, a female-centric Young Avengers, because of course it is. This is why, you know, the MCU is a real thing when people talk about that. So, oh, you're just being cringe. Is it cringe, though? Because the entire Young Avengers is going to be made up of females. This is the new team. So, remember how they built up the original Avengers. Everyone got their own movie, and then finally they showed up. So, now everyone's going to have their Disney Plus show, and they're going to show up. So... If you care about spoilers for some reason, you're actually interested in this piece of shit, the Marvels, uh, <laughs> uh, you should stop watching the, the video because we're going to go into it. So, the Marvels post credits leak rumor claims sequel teases Young Avengers, Kamala Khan meets Kate Bishop, references Ant-Man 3's Cass Cassie Lang, and more. So... Here's what's funny about this. Does anyone give a shit about these characters? Cassie Lang was the worst thing about Ant-Man 3. Uh, she's very unlikable. I called her social justice Cassie. She's very much uh, an Antifa kind of, kind of, you know, protester activist character. Did not like her. Worst thing about that movie, hands down, was Cassie Lang. So she's going to be a young Avenger. Kate Bishop will be a young Avenger. Kamal Khan will be a young Avenger. I don't know who else they'll grab. I don't know if it'll be female-centric. I'm, I'm trying to think of who else it would be in it. I haven't been paying too much attention to the MCU as much as I used to because it's all been garbage. I haven't even watched Secret Invasion. I just don't care. It's all been so damn bad. So she's going to meet up with Kate Bishop and say, we need to team up. And did you know Ant-Man 3 had a, or Ant-Man had a daughter? 
So she'll be in the Young Avengers. Oh, America would be in the Young Avengers too. So America, Kate Bishop, Cassie Lang, Kamala Khan. I'm trying to think of who else they would get in there that's young. A lot of people are saying Wanda's twins. They would have to pull them from a different universe, which they could do, but that would be the other two maybe. So who is who would be excited about this? Imagine like this is the lineup of characters for that movie and they think it's going to have the same effect as the original Avengers movie. <laughs> that's not going to happen. So that's where we're at now. Also, there's going to be three Captain Marvels. This is what Samuel Jackson is out there saying. Brie Larson will no longer be the only Captain Marvel in the MCU. So uh, this is according to Samuel L. Jackson. Three different people will be Captain Marvel now. After Secret Invasion, I'm moving on to the Marvels where you got like three different people who are Captain Marvel. You got Brie Larson. You got a black Captain Marvel, and you got a Muslim Captain Marvel. So they're working on the universe in a way that's inclusive, even like Shang-Chi and all those things that happen there. And who the hell is Bad Bunny going to be? Like Bad Bunny's in the Marvel Universe? Who that? What he going to be? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't have Samuel L. Jackson destroying his career on my bingo card over the past couple of months, but here we are. Remember, he was calling the fans racist the other day. So that was fun to see Samuel Jackson destroy his image. Like what this is the problem with like these people, these movie stars running around, opening their mouths, acting stupid, letting people see how dumb they really are. It ruins their image. You know, I, I would imagine most people have probably had like Samuel Jackson as a badass in their mind and like he's just always out chopping wood or something on his downtime. But nope, uh, he's a huge social justice warrior. Literally the opposite of a badass. So in his new in- interview, Jackson addressed the criticism superhero projects tend to receive, admitting that he's one of them who enjoys the genre and is really proud that I, that he's been a part of it. Uh, we hope so, and we as we watch how these things play out and what the world of superheroes is when people continue to say, well, we hate these superhero movies. I'm sick of this. Make some movies that make sense. Well, some people like superhero movies, a whole bunch of people. You know, I'm one of them. I'm really proud that I've been a part of it. I think he's funny. And then he starts talking about Black Little Mermaid and all this shit. Like, okay, well, do you, Samuel L. Jackson. But three Captain Marvels. There we go. Aren't you excited? Wow, the future is bright. Wow. Even in the comic books, we now have Spider-Boy. Yay. <laughs> let me show let, let me know in the in the comments how you feel about all of this. Also, are you excited for 3 Captain Marvels? Are you excited for the Young Avengers? Let me know what you think. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter, over here. I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.